What's up, Do You Even Blog tribe? Pete McPherson here. You're listening to the Do You Even Blog podcast or watching on YouTube. This is the show for people who want to make money on the internet. Online entrepreneurs, bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, email marketers, all the above, right? Yes, it's a digital marketing, make money online type of show. In today's video, I want to share a system for choosing what to focus on. A system for choosing what to focus on. I'm calling this the trifecta only because there are three main parts to it. This is very simple. Uh, I had never heard about this from anybody else, so I am gonna say I developed it. It's my super secret system for choosing what to prioritize, or more specifically, choosing what projects or strategies to focus on, to do next, that sort of thing. Now, before I dive in, I uh, a little bit of housekeeping. I have a template here. If you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description below the video. There's a, there's a template, you can just make a copy. It's absolutely free. You don't even have to put it in your email, you just make a copy. If you're not watching on YouTube and you're listening, wherever you listen to podcasts, hello, in your car, by the way, tell your kids in the backseat I said hi. You can actually go to the show notes on Buzzsprout or in Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever, and there should be a link to this template. Again, totally free, no strings attached. Now, that said, <laughs> one more bit of context. If you're like me, you have trouble staying focused. Maybe some, if actually, if actually, actually, I think probably all of you are more focused than I am. I tend to be a bit of a dabbler. It's not necessarily shiny object syndrome. I just get really bored easily. And I like to hand, have my hand in a lot of pies. Diversification, always good, but focus on growing one project, generally more effective, right? There's a good balance between all these things. And so to help me with this, to help me manage my lack of focus, my shiny object syndrome, I've kind of been leaning into this trifecta, I'm doing air quotes right now, system. That's where this comes from. And let me just jump in and explain it. So. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see my color-coded spreadsheet, but you don't need to see this. The trifecta is this. It's three things. Energy, small money, big money. This is how I choose my projects. Let's define these. Energy is how much energy do I have to work on this on a scale of one to 10. One being, I had this idea, but I really don't want to do it right now. 10 being, oh my gosh, I have had this idea and I have not been able to sleep thinking about it. I'm excited to do this work. I'm passionate about this. I have a lot of energy. I'm highly motivated to do that. That would be a 10. This is a scale, one to 10. How much energy do I have to work on this right now? How excited am I? That is the first part of the trifecta. Small money is this. Is there a very high likelihood? I'm talking like 90% chance to happen. Is there a 90% chance that I will at least make some money from this. Now, some money, again, is in air quotes. This could be literally just $100 a month. It could be up to like $1,000 a month. Not, not too much past that, right? How likely is this to make at least a little bit of money? And again, this is a scale of one to 10. One being, I actually don't think this is gonna make any money whatsoever. 10 being, I could totally see this making at least a hundred bucks a month, a hundred to a thousand, pretty easily and pretty quickly. Maybe that's within three to six months. Maybe that's like only 30, 50 bucks a month, but that might be worth my time. It could totally do that. That's totally, I could see it happening. I can picture how it happens, how it's monetized. I can picture the time frame, et cetera, et cetera. Small money. Is there a 90% chance that it'll at least make a little bit of money? Scale of one to 10. Big money is the exact same thing, but it's more of the, uh, will this actually blow up? Percent likelihood, right? Is there at least a 1% chance, not 10% chance, just a 1% chance that it will absolutely blow up and make a lot of money? Now, a lot of money is also dependent. Maybe that's $10,000 a month. Maybe that's $100,000 a month. And again, you, I'll leave room for interpretation. You make this up as you go along. But on a scale of one to 10, is there a small chance, 1% chance, that it'll blow up? Be bigger than I had ever imagined, make me a ton of money. That is the trifecta. Now, before I give you some examples, there's one more component to this which I found helpful just today, 
by the way, if we're being honest, it was literally two hours ago that I wrote in all of the projects I have right now. Some are existing projects that I've started, one which is do even blog, of course. Some of my niche sites and that sort of stuff. I have some coding ideas, some app ideas. Those would be coding projects. And then I have more site ideas, like content is what I labeled it as. That's my category. Content, meaning another niche site or another niche YouTube channel or another newsletter, something that I have not started yet. Those are my three big categories there. And again, if you're on the YouTube, you can see this. If not, you'll just have to trust me. I created a table where I could input the trifecta numbers, one to 10, but then I also entered in like the different categories of projects I have going on, the different brand names, so I can easily sort and filter. I can take a look at my existing sites, my niche sites and stuff like that. I got like half a dozen at, at this point in time. And I can like kind of filter there. I can see that I can actually sort the entire table by my energy number or by my small money number or by my big money number or by a score, which I'll get to in a second a weighted score. I'll get to that in a second. I found this extremely helpful. It's one thing to just think of your different projects or ideas or whatever you have going on. It's another thing to literally assign them these numbers and then categorize and organize them. It makes things clearer in my head. And I'm sure this would be helpful for some of you out there too. And the exercise of doing this, again, I did this just a couple of hours ago. I've done this before, but I updated it a couple of hours ago when just being able to like look at these category by category, my coding app ideas, my content, my existing site ideas, so helpful for me, so helpful. And then putting in my numbers, energy, small money, big money, etc. The last piece of this puzzle, which I had never done before today, I mean, I've been looking at these, I've been having this idea in my head for over a year now, right? I've been thinking about this, but I thought it might be nice to do a weighted score a weighted average would be more appropriate. It's one thing to say like energy, small money, big money, each of those counts for a third, but honestly, I don't care so much about the small money. <laughs> like if something's gonna make $100 a month, that's that's cool, I like that, that'll help me out, I'm all for $100 a month, but it doesn't matter to me quite as much as my energy toward a project, right? If I have like super high energy for something, but the small money number is like a one or a two, like maybe it, maybe it's just a free app. I would still like to do that, right? And the opposite is true, of course. If something is highly likely to like a nine out of 10 for making a small amount of money each month, but I have like no energy towards it, I'm straight up not gonna do it. And so I weigh the energy score much more. And so that's what this spreadsheet does. That's what this table does. And again, you don't have to use the table if you're just listening to this on the podcast, but I highly suggest weighing the scores, energy, small money, big money, and then trying to sort through your ideas, your projects. Maybe these are specific strategies in your own business. Maybe it's not different businesses <laughs> like it is in my case. Maybe you just have one business, but you have a lot of things you could do in order to grow, but you're having trouble deciding between them, making these decisions. It's handy to write them all down, assign, go through the trifecta scores, energy, small money, big money, and then again, I highly recommend checking out the spreadsheet once you get home or whatever you're doing, just to get that weighted score, I found it very, very helpful. And last thing I'll say, just on a personal note, this actually served to confirm what I already thought to be true. I have a bunch of projects. I'm trying to decide what to work on for 2024 and more specifically like the first quarter, Q1 of 2024. I had it in my head like what I kind of wanted to do and probably what I need to be doing even if it's not my favorite things. But actually putting it on paper or in my case, this spreadsheet just confirmed it. And I feel much more confident and my decision now. I have the two or three things, the big things that I wanna work on, one of which is new, and the other two are existing projects that I've already done. It's probably smart, <laughs> you'd agree. Uh, and the new thing, especially, is what I'm most excited about right now. So that's obviously gonna like be easy to work on, easy to start. And the other things I'm gonna force myself to, but I, I sit here, look at the spreadsheet, and think, okay, 
I've done my homework. I've thought this through. These things are going to make me money, and I at least have some amount of energy to work on it. It's a good decision. All these align with my vision. It just gave me more confidence. That's it. So, again, if you're in your uh, car listening to the podcast, check out the spreadsheet when you get home. It'll be in the show notes. If you're on YouTube, it's right underneath the video in the description. And I hope you found this helpful. I've been using this for about a year and just now, like literally two hours ago, tripled down into kind of formatting my spreadsheet and doing this weighted score analysis. And I found it extremely helpful. Extremely helpful. So that's it for today's episode of the Deven Blog Podcast. DevenBlog.com is where you can find out more. Just subscribe to my weekly uh, roundup email. And Fab.ai is my current AI app which I'm uh, working on. That's one of my three things that I need to focus on, growing my members, growing my users for fab.ai. And that's all I got. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Happy New Year for 2024. Good luck making money online this year. Also, one more thing, drop me an email. If you want to say anything, shoot me an email, pete at theeveblog.com. I'm always there. And that's all I got. I hope you have a lovely day. Adios. <laughs>